all, let us all arise as we declare with faith. sa kanyang puso 
at ang lahat, Panginoon, ang kanyang inihanda, O Diyos, pagpalain at iyanoid mo, O God, na sa aming pakikinig, dakilang Diyos, we may experience, Lord, your comfort that through that preaching of your word we may experience oh God changes and transformation not only of our heart but even our will oh God to submit to the absolute obedience of your word Lord marami pong salamat na kilang Diyos Salamat sa iyong banal na spirito sa aming kalagitnaan. Patuloy kang kumilos, banal na spirito. This is your place. This is your temple. This, you are the programmer. You are our God. Marami pong salamat na kilang Diyos sa mga bagay na gagawin mo sa aming mga buhay. Salamat, Ama. We continue to acknowledge your divine presence in our lives. Lord, we thank you. Accept all the adoration and thanksgiving, O God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. We just want to welcome ang ating pong three first timer from Croydon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sige po, shall we? Pwede po ba kamayan natin sila? Maramdaman po nila yung J.I.L. Warm welcome. Kay Kuya Gilbert Angeles, kay Brother Samuel, and Sister Sophia. Sige po.
because this is the year of revival. Amen po. At paano po natin ito gagawin through our core values? Hindi po tayo perfecto. Wala pong isa dito sa lugar na ito ang perfect. Amen. Hindi po natin sinasabing tayo ay perfect na tao. Nagkakamali pa rin po tayo. Pero may core values po tayo. No, na ine-expect po at itinuturo sa atin na maging karakter natin bilang mga anak ng Diyos. Yan po ay ang passionate love for God, love and compassion for others, integrity, faithfulness, and excellence. Praise the Lord! Salamat po! We welcome you again! Praise the Lord! There is a blessing in absolute and radical obedience. Amen? Amen. 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 Can we give that power God? Praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.
if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I commanded you today. He will set you above the nations and the blessings will come over thank you. Amen. And even before we are ready to do his will, let us God let us ask God's forgiveness. Let us ask God's cleansing into our life so that our offering of service will be like aroma into His throne. Amen? And as we sing this song, let, let us not just sing it. Sing it with all your worship to our God. Amen? Let us lift up our hands as a sign of surrender to God. You're not singing for anybody. You are singing to our God. Your God that you are serving. Amen.
dito sa United Kingdom. At ito po ay ating sineselebrate. Uh, siguro po napakagandang pakinggan ang, ang isang magtuturo sa atin ay yung nanay talaga. Nanay ng mga nanay. <laughs> Amen po ba? Amen. <laughs> Hindi po natin siya napapakinggan. For many years, kasama po natin siya in the ministry. Even before we have JI in South London, Uh, before pa ng JI South London way back then kasama na po natin ang uh, lingkod ng Diyos na ito na tuting pa lang tuting time, saton time naririyan na po kasama na po natin, faithful na talaga namang pong ginagampanan ang pagkatawag ng Diyos sa kanyang buhay No? Kaya napakaganda po siguro na pakikinggan po natin siya. Ang isang nanay natin, nanay ng mga nanay. Ano po? Marami po tayong matututunan sa kanyang buhay. She was quite ano po na parang nahehesitant siya kasi alam niyo na na she just wanted to be na hindi nakikita po dito sa harap. Pero it's very good na marinig po at pagbigyan ng na pagbigyan natin na marinig po ang ating pong minamahal na nanay, Nanay Tess Pedanya. Sige po, pwede po bang palakpang natin sa kanyang buhay. Praise the Lord. Sige po. God loved you so much. Amen. And I believe that you love Him too. Bakit? Kasi nandito kayo eh. Amen. Today is Sunday. Ang sarap matulog. Amen. Ang sarap mag-TV. Diba? After five days work. But look at you now. Look at you. Nandito kayo lahat. To give glory. To give the highest praise. To give the highest I believe. God is going to repay every strength na nawala sa atin. Amen. Dahil sinabi niya niya sa kanyang mga salita. Dahil inuna niyo ang Panginoon, God loves you. God is going to repay everything. Amen? Amen. Okay. Let's move on to our topic. But first, allow me to say a massive thank you to all of you na narito. Thank you. And it's a big privilege to be standing in front of you dito para sa harapan ng palpi to. Now, this is my first time. Actually, this is, uh, actually, as you know me, this is not my this is not my comfort zone. Dati, nakikita nyo lang ako sa hallway, sa dining, di ba? But because Brother Aldrin say, Nanay, tatayo na kayo. I have to do it. I have to follow 
him. And what do you call it? Can you tell me what you call it? We have to follow our leader. Obedience, well done. Thank you, Lord. Obedience. Yan ang ating topic ngayon. Obedience goes to blessing. Praise God. Ah, but anyway, so according sa anyway, sabi ko nga sa inyo, obedience case to God for blessings, according to Oxford Dictionary, ang meaning daw ng obedience ay compliance with an order, required or law, submission to another authority. Sino sila? Ayan ang tanong. Sino ang mga ito? Siyempre, the one who has the right to give orders. Sabi ko nga, sino siya? First of all, ang ating Panginoon, ang kanyang commandment. Di ba? Our, our parents! Our boss at work! Boss natin sa bahay, teachers, and of course, our leader sa church. Our leader sa church. Amen? Anyway, before I forget, parents! Ang mga ng parents dito ay mga anak. May mga anak. Kami Mother's Day daw. Yan ang sinabi na ni brother, uh, Sister Alice. But I have to say again, kami Mother's, uh, Mother's Day to all of you. At yung mga wala pang anak, I believe and declare na one day, meron din kayo aalagaan. Mga, mga kabataan dito, wala pang asawa, wala pang boyfriend. Happy Mother's Day sa inyo. In advance. Amen? One day. Nakikita niya yan. Anyway, balik tayo sa ating topic. Obedience, God's to God's blessing. By the way, ano ba sa Tagalog ang obedience? Ayan. Ano ba sa Tagalog ang obedience? Pagtalima. Di ba? Sabi ko nga po, sa mga Happy Mother's Day muna. By the, sabi ko nga sa inyo, Happy Mother's Day sa mga hindi pa nga nanganap. One day magkakatuloy kayo. Mother, mother! Mother, mother! Naalala ko si Sister Christine Alcaide nung siya nakatira sa bahay. Dumating ang nanay niya, nasa pintuan pa lang. Sabi niya, Mother, mother! <laughs> so hindi ko yung makakalimutan. So every Mother's Day, naalala ko siya. Sister Christine Alcaide, I miss you. Anyway, sa Bible, the Bible constantly tell us to honor and love our mother. A mother like, kasi is like food to our soul. Kaya kagaya rin ito na ating pagbabasa ng Bible. Pinagpakain natin ang soul natin. Tayo nga kumakain ng three times a day, sometimes five times a day pa, di ba? So, pakain din natin ang ating kaluluwa. Amen? Para lumakas tayo. May strength tayo. I remember my brother, I remember my husband. Sabi niya kahapon, saan ka kumukuha ng lakas mo, mami? Sabi ko, try to, try to read the word of God. Dahil papasok yun hanggang kailang ililiman ng inyong bato. So, hindi siya kumago. But I believe, nasa, nasa puso niya na yun. Amen? Anyway, sa so Proverbs uh, 22, verse 6, ang sabi doon, Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. I-train daw natin ang ating mga anak para paglaki nila, hindi nila makalimutan yun. Especially, turuan natin sila na matutong matakot sa Diyos. Amen? So, so many parents wants to make all the choices for their child, but, but it hurts there in the long run. Gusto kasi natin, lagi tayo masusunod. Yung decision nila, tayo ang magdidesisyon. Para sa mga anak natin. Pero may mga anak naman, ayaw paturuan, ayaw mapagsabihan. Very sensitive nila. Gusto nila sila ang tamay, laging tama. Sino ang nakaka-relate dito sa mga magulang? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ganyan ang mga anak ko nung araw. Ayaw nilang mapagsabihan. 
So, unahin ko siyempre ang example ko mga family ko. <laughs> I remember Brother Aldrin, lagi nang in-example, Sister Alice. <laughs> so, ako rin, siyempre, family ko rin ang example ko. So, anyway, so, yun nga. So, when parents teach a child from how to make decision, they don't have to watch every step it takes. So, I have to, I have my <laughs> body code. The naughty children will remain out on the path because they have made the choices themselves. Train our children to choose the right way. Maganda nga habang bata. Matuturoan na sila, napapasahan natin sila ng all of that. Para paglaki nila, masanay sila at makilala nila Diyos at maging umulgyan sila. Second, parents. Okay. God expect us as a mother or parents to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul. Yan ang in-expect ng Panginoon. So, tingnan natin yung uh, sa Ephesians 6, ver, uh, Ephesians 6, verse 1 to 4. Sabi niya, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is the right. Honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with promise that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Kita nyo, pag daw sinunod natin ang ating mga magulang habang ating mga buhay. So, and you, and, and verse uh, 4, sabi niya, and you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Okay. Children, honor your prayers now. Even though ang mga parents natin ay very demanding. Ang fair. Narinig ko sa mga mga tayan, Ma'am, you're unfair. Ako na lang lagi ang sinusunod, kinuto, inuutusan mo. Ganyan ba kayo? Children? I believe in the Kids, are you listening right now? Where are you kids? Honor your parents. I said to your parents, so dad, para mahaba natin ang at gaganda ang ating buhay. So, ganun. So, ang mother na may tapos sa Diyos ay mahal niya si God ng buong puso at kaluluwa. The mother depends on God's love and power natin rather than her own. She puts time in God's word and in prayer first. So, sabi ko nga mga children, ako dati, natalala ko ang tabi, tawag nila sa akin nung di ba ko, Ates, nung nakabata pa ako, Tess. Tapos, nung ano, sabi niya, Ate Tess, nung dumating na ako sa JR London, Sister Tess, nung nandito na ako, Nanay Tess. So, ano pa kaya ang isusunod nila na ako sa akin? Lola, di ba? But I'm ready for it. Anyway, so, balik tayo sa topic natin. Sabi ko nga doon, ang pag-obedience ay pagsunod, pagtalima. What does it mean to be obedient? Ito yung willingness natin sa pagsunod. Willing to obey. According to David Jeremiah, obedience to God's will stresses the connection between acknowledging God's sovereignty and willingly submitting to His will. Promoting, promoting obedience in our life. Pag tayo, tayo ay nag-obey, we acknowledge Him into our life. We let His will enter the, sa buhay natin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ina, Ina-alex natin na kasama siya sa ating buhay. Amen? Sabi nga doon, why is obedience is important to God? Bakit ang obedience ay napaka-importante sa Panginoon? Dito kasi natin pinapakita na we love God and we trust Him which in turn activate, activate His power and in our lives. Ang point number one po, ang obedience now demonstrate our faith and trust in Diyos. It was also a key to our success in a promised way for a lasting blessing, blessings for our life. Sa Bible, maraming character person doon na sumunod sa Panginoon, di ba? Gaya ni Abraham. Diba? Naging isang anak niya, inoper niya sa Panginoon. Si Noah. Anong nangyari kay Noah? Tinawag siyang 
tinawag siyang crazy. Gumagawa ng art, wala namang ulan, wala namang tubig, wala namang ulan, di ba? Wala namang baha. So pinagtatawa na siya. Si Moses, si Isikaya. At ang, at ang paborito ko ay si Elijah. At ang widow. Alam niyo ba ang istorya na? Sino ang nakakabaan? Sino ang nakakare, ano na, na sa comics? Sino ang nagbabasa ng comics nung wala, ano? Kasi ako lang ang ano eh. Nung kapanuhan namin, kapanahonan namin. Thank you, sister. Nakala ko ako lang ang nagbabasa ng... So anyway, ang Bible, pag nagbasa kayo ng comic, ay pag nagbasa ng Bible, parang itong comics, meron kayong sinusunod, parang yung sa comics, di ba meron susunod, di ba meron ganon. So anyway, I remember my dad, nung high school ako, I was Porcher High School, kinakahiya ko ang aking ama. Actually, we are a very solid, a very solid Christian. 5.30, nagsisimba na kami. But how come, nung nakinig siya kay Damian Soto, sino nakaka nakakaalam kay Damian Soto, Rafael Rapot? Wala pa, no? Ako lang siguro. <laughs> si Rafael Ra Rapa eh, si Soto, Damian Soto, 7 o'clock ng gabi, nakikinig ang tatay ko. Ang sabi ng tatay ko, puro kayo basa ng basa ng comics ng liwayway. Ba't hindi kayo magbasa ng Bible? Eh, wala namang Bible sa amin. Dahil nung araw, tinatago ang Bible. Di ba? Hindi natin alam ang Bible. Walang Biblia sa bahay. Meron man nakatago. Minsan, na ano pa, naalikabukan. Pero, ang tatay ko, sabi niya, hindi, hindi siya nakagbabasa ng Bible. Magbasa kayo ng Bible. So, ngayon ko na-realize, I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, Tatay. Dahil kinahiya ko kayo ng araw. Kasi, pinipintasan niya ang mga reboto. Amen? Anyway, lumalayo ako. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, parang nabela ang pagbasa ng... Balik tayo kay Elijah. Dito, God commanded Elijah to go to Sarepat in the region of Sidon and stay there. The condition of that region was so poor. Kung baga sa ano, El Nino. Walang ano, walang tubig. The brook dried up. The plants are not are dying. Hindi na hindi na go grow. Animals cannot survive because no water, no rain for three and a half years. But despite of that great condition of the land and for possibilities that will happen to Elijah, as she goes there, Elijah hold on to the promise of God. Nagano siya na hindi niya talagang hinip niya ang promise ng Panginoon na. Someone will take care of the, him in Sarakat, in young widow. Now, this widow was only gathering stick to make a meal for herself and her son so that they can eat and die. Probably, yun na ang last meal nila. But Elijah commanded her to make a cake for him. And what is the response of the widow? Diba? Nagsumunod siya. Nag-obey siya. Tayo kaya, mga mga kapatid, kung tayo ay sinabi ni Laja, si, si Isbig, gawa mo naman ng kongkate. May ka, nasa, di ko ro, sasabihin natin, wala na nga kami makain, ito na ang last na pagkain namin, gagawang pa kita, Elijah? No way! I bet yan ay sasagot natin. But hindi, ang wito ay sumunod. Siguro, sa, yun nga, ah, uh, When the widow obeyed the Lord, ang kanyang, ang kanyang jar of flour, hindi, hindi na nag, nagagalaw. Ang jar of oil niya ay hindi nauubusan. Lahaging meron. Yeah, amen. So, makikita nyo ang pagsunod. Actually, napakadal, napakadaling sumunod kung tayo ay may mga laman na ang kabinet natin, di ba? Sister Juliet, gawa mo ko ng cake. Ay, oh, Sister Tess, marami kong cloud dito, gagawa kita agad. Di ba? Ang dali, napakadali. Pero napakali. Hindi rin madali sumunod. If we, if we don't have, di ba? Kung wala tayong gamit. Kung hindi tayo nagbabasa ng Word of God, hindi natin ang alam ng road na papunta doon, paano tayo susunod? Di ba? So, ang hirap sumunod pag hindi natin kilala 
ang Panginoon. Kailangan, kilala natin siya. So, paano tayo makakasunod? Paano tayo makakasunod sa Panginoon? For us to fully obey, we must read this word every day. And we must ask God to empower us. Empower saan? Empower us with His Holy Spirit. To obey Him and to honor Him. Amen? Okay, point number two ko. Obedience to God is not only a way to worship, but a way to get closer to Him. Kita nyo, ang pagsunod sa Panginoon ay magiging close tayo. Matatawag na natin siyang Daddy. Daddy, Daddy! Di ba? Alam niyo, eh, ano na tayo? Uh, original anak na tayo, hindi na tayo illegitimate. We are legitimate sons and daughters. Madalit sabi, we are part of His family. We have a relationship with Him. Kaya na natin humingi sa Kanya. We have a confidence to obey Him sa ating pagsunod. Gaya ng sinabi ni Samuel, ang sinabi ni Samuel sa uh, kanyang ano, salita, I will not overburn, offering that it, that will cause me nothing. Sa ating pagsunod, God promise our, yung binasa, na, yung binasa sa, sa Deuteronomy, na ba, hindi ko alam po na ito, na i-ano ko yung sa Deuteronomy, verse 1, 8, na i-ano nyo ba yun? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Pa, Deuteronomy 1, 8, pwedeng i-ano natin, Sister Ria. Sorry ha. <laughs> Actually, dapat ang inuna ko ay ang word of God ng kanyang salita. So, can we, can we read it uh, sabay-sabay tayo para hindi lang ako nagbabasa? Amen? Can we start? Sabi niya, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands, I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flock. Your basket and your kneading door will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. We will come at you from one direction but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your burns and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land He is giving you. The Lord will establish you as His holy people, as He promised you all, if you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in obedience to Him, then all the peoples on earth will see that you call by the name of the Lord and they will pity you. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the crops of your ground, in the land is told to your ancestors. Okay, Amen. Okay. Sa pagsunod daw, God promise, yung pag yung nabasa natin, God promise, from our verse today, na we will bless when you come in, and bless when you go out. Bless when you come in, and bless when you go out. So, I want to share my testimony, my own testimony, regarding my family. Way back 1990, I'm trying to get my children, my family over here. First, second, third, no, first attempt, denied, second attempt, denied, and this is the last attempt, third time. The home office denied my visa, denied their visa. And lucky, I'm not lucky. I applied again the third time. We received a letter from the home office and my solicitor, uh, Steve Pedro, I don't know if you know Steve Pedro, asawa siya ni uh, Rose. Uh, sino nakakakilala kay Teddy Balio? Okay, nakakakilala ba rito kay Teddy Balio? Asawa niya si Tess Balio? Uh, ano nila si ano yun? Manu, uh, bayaw niya si, ang solicitor ko. So, sabi niya ni Steve, test, bad news, hindi na aprobahan ng home office ang third appeal natin. So, alam niyo 
ba ang contents ng sulat ng humotis? Ang sabi doon, I'm really sorry. We cannot open the case of Medanya family. Our decision is final and we cannot alter it. Wow! Ang sakit. Hindi ko matanggap, hindi ako makatulog. Iyak, iyak, lungkot. Sometimes, gabi na. Pumay, uh, I lost weight at that time. Anyway, nung last na ano, sinasabi nila, at itis, ang, itis, ang pumapayat ka. So, this is the time na kailangan bumangon ako. I have to move on. I have to, uh, maging, ma masik maging matatag ako para sa mga anak ko. So, what I did, 11.30, I have to phone Pastor Rudy Dolor. Dahil very close kami ni Pastor Rudy. Pastor Rudy, and I mentioned to Pastor Rudy what happened to that letter. And then, and what he said to me, Ate Tess, sino ba ang naglagay ng mga tao sa home office? Di ba ang home office? Di ba ang God? Di ba ang si Panginoong Jesus? So, want, ang, kung ang plano, may plano ang Panginoon sa inyong buhay at walang makaka-break doon. Nothing is impossible sa Kanya. So, he advised me to read the Bible. Get the promise of God, remind Him, about the family. And when you open the book, and when, ah, uh, nagsasabi pala ni Pastor Rudy, at it is, uh, maganap, magbasa ka ng Bible, maganap ka ng verse, na maganda, at isulat mo yun, sa pa pa papel, at ilagay mo sa mga dingding, sa hallway, sa room, sa toilet. So, nilagay ko yun. So, anyway, sabi ko, Pastor Rudy, may nakita ako sa Ezekiel, Hindi ko alam ito ba, ano ba yung ibig sabihin nito? Kasi nung araw hindi pa ako marunong sa Bible. Hindi pa ako marunong mag-interpret ng mga ano. Sa Ezekiel sabi niya, I will bring you children from the east and gather you from the west. So sabi ko, Pastor, ano ba ito? Ano ibig sabihin nito? Hindi ko, hindi ko maintindihan. Ate Tess, alam mo ba ang east? Par east? Pilipinas na yun. At ang west? Sa atin na to, sabi niya. So every day, so, nung pinaliwanag niya sa akin na gano'n, so everyday, sa umaga, sa pagbaba ko sa hagdanan, magbaba ko ng danan, kasi meron na nakasulat doon, I will bring your cheer in the east and gather your west. Wala, hanggang sa pag, hanggang sa pagpupo ko sa trono, sa, sa, <laughs> sa umaga, <laughs> sinasabi ko yun. Anyway, but look at, look at now. Sabi, ang mga, mga kabigang ko na hindi pa nakakilala sa Panginoon, Sabi niya, ako maniwala kay kay Pastor, how mobis na ang may sulat. Bakit nakikialam si Pastor? Nakita niyo, Pastor na, ayaw pa nilang maniwala. Bakit may mga tao ganyan? Inalaga na sila ng Diyos sa, loo, sa ministry na yun, ayaw pa nilang maniwala. So, ang, so, ang payo ko, mag-advice is, huwag nating mamaliitin ang nilagay ng Diyos sa kanyang ministry. Kahit sino pa mga yan, Kahit bago pa lang yan. Kahit wala pa lang alam yan. Kahit hindi pa yung pastor, we have to follow him. Amen? The blessing of God and His failure is just waiting for us. All we have to do is to obey. In His word, He said, if you fully obey, you will bless in the city and bless in the country and bless God. Hindi lang niya din nalang ang family ko dito. Di ba, alam niyo naman, narito ang family ko na? After a few years, may bonus pa! Siksik, liglig, at umaapaw. Nakita niyo? Alam ba niyo kung ano yun? Sino? Mga manugang ko, si Ria, si Danesa, na nagiling ko. Amen? At sabi ko nga, siksik! si Isabel, andyan si Rapa. Di ba? Kaya umaapaw talaga. So, our relationship with God, our devotion to Him is very important. Do not neglect like, like it. To all parents like me and all children right now, God will make a way when it seems no way. Sometimes, He will use other people to us para lang matugunan ang needs natin. At may mga tao na nakahanda, nakaline up na para sa mga anak niya. Yeah. 
Ma-amish na lang tayo. Masusurprise na lang tayo sa ginagawa ng Panginoon sa atin. Sometimes, iniisip pa lang natin, nandiyan na pala ang kasagutan. Diba? Kaya yung mga may mga problema dyan, don't lose pay, don't, wag kayong mag, maglulumo, wag kayong, ano, dahil lapit lang kayo sa Panginoon at ipipitay niya. Jesus is our protector, our comforter, and our mediator. He is everything nga. Nasa kanya nga lahat eh. Diba? Sometimes water. Ano sabi sa water? He is a living water. Diba? Bread. He is the bread of life. Light. He is the light of the world. And door. Diba? So ano pa ba? Can you remember? What else? Ang sabi sa may papangalan natin sa Panginoon. Lahat nasa Kanya. Kaya pag nasa, nasa, nasa Kanya tayo, complete na. Wala na tayong hinihin pa. Amen? God is doing great things in our life and He is determined to continue His purpose on each every one of us if we fully obey and it leads to a joyful life. With God, Jesus, Jesus are our intended final. If we continue to be obedient, He will reward us with a fruit of obedience. Fruit of obedience, hindi fruit of the Spirit. Ang fruit of the Spirit, siyang yun eh. Ang fruit of obedience. Tatlo. Eternal life, united with Him, and peace. Diba? Amen. Dito ako magtatapos. The requirement is only obedience if we are willing to obey like Jesus did. He was willing to obey with His Father. Uh, si Billy Graham, uh, Billy Graham said, God doesn't call us to be successful. Hindi tayo tinawag ng Panginoon para maging successful tayo. But to be obedient. Because obedience is the key to God's blessing. Charles, are you ready to do God's will? Amen. The answer is yours. Amen. Ang sino mang nagsalita ng amen. Praise God. To God be the glory. Thank you, God. I will... Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I will give the floors to Brother Aldrin. And thank you very much. Palagpakan po natin. Ang Panginoon. Very fruitful. Salam po na nites. Brother Aldrin. Amen. Salamat. And ang ating pong second program ay to bless our family. And I want to echo the very great reminder of Pastor Boy. Pastor Boy is our regional director. He pastor two churches from Ireland and uh, London. And yung 99% lang daw na obedient is, is a thing. You know, if you study the Word of God from Genesis to Revelation, if you obey God, just only 99%. It's not 100%, it's a thing. Because God requires us to obey God 100%. Amen? And my second, uh, to bless our mother, to celebrate Mother's Day. Anda na po ba yung mga gift natin? To pray for all the mothers, yung da po natin. Ready po ba tayo i-bless ang ating mga mom? Amen. Palakpakan natin, no? Salamat ang kay Nanay Des. I want to clear out about, sabi ni Nanay Des, na before, because he was a Catholic. He's a very strict Catholic. He loved the images. That's the reason. And her mom, his, her dad is really uh, don't like the images. No? But now, he's a pure Christian. Not, not in this, no? We are not obeying uh, any images. I just want to clear that. Not in this, he's a pure born again. He loves Jesus. He loves the Bible. Amen. And we didn't worship idol. Amen. Just to clear. Amen. And Isaiah 42, verse 6. Diyan lang po. Lagi po natin to bless. And according to... Uh, uh, John Mark Comer, the great problem of the church today, uh, what is the symbol, if you study the word of God, what is the symbol of a uh, mother in the Bible? Is a church. You heard about that? Amen? And there are two symbols. Church as a mother and light as a light of the house. Diba sa Tagalog, ang nanay ang ilaw, Ano po ang tatay? It's the halige. Okay. That's the two, a very obvious symbol. Amen? Sige po, tingnan po natin. Listen very carefully. 
position very carefully. We need to destroy the works of the enemy in our time. And the great news, God will use the migration, either you are Filipino, either you are Chinese or Thai, Taiwanese. If you are a Christian, you are a blessing to every country that you are in. Listen very carefully. God is doing great things. It's very obvious. I heard a lot from Saudi Arabia. There are pastors there and they come to the UK. Have you heard about that? One of the classic examples is Pastor Rovell. No, who knows Pastor Rovell? He's a brother of William Guilford. He was a, he was to be, he used to be a senior pastor in Saudi Arabia, but he's a member in Guilford. When he, when he uh, told her his testimony about his experience as a pastor, I was so amazed. No. Yeah, listen very carefully. God will do great things in the United Kingdom. Amen. You know the case of South London, we are now in a in a race of producing more churches. Amen. But the dilemma, you know, what is the community suffering is the suffering of the church. You know, according to John. Mark Homer, most of the family now, not before, or not in the future, now, marami pong mga pamilya na iniiwan ng mga asawa. Is it very obvious? It's obvious, but it's a very, hindi, hindi, hindi malakas ang mga tatay ngayon. Have you noticed that? But praise God, kuya, wag kang sasama din. Ha? They started the family, then divorced because the lack of Ah, pag, the lack ng pagbibigay ng suporta sa pamilya. That's the spirit is going around. Not just only in Western culture. Even in the Philippines, no? Nakikita niyo po ba? Parang normal lang yung may tatlo kang papa. May, have you noticed that? That's the scenario. That's the scenario in our, in our time. But we need to break that. Amen? We need to break that kind of demonic power. Kaya, God is producing more workers from any deep and different parts of the world across the globe, especially Christian, to fill in the gulf. And what is the situation of a mother church as a South London? We are producing, di ba? Ang hirap pong manganak. Ang hirap pong ipanganak po ang Guilford. It's not easy. There's so many trouble. Holy right. Even holy. Alam niyo po bang nanganak ang sakit? There's so many friends that danas ka. But don't leave the mother. Nakakalungkot marami pong mga, mga member ng church na nagsasuffer, nag-labor ang church para mag-produce ng maraming mga churches. Ang nakakalungkot, we have a demonic force that abandoned the church. At ang pinakamabigat doon, nagiging pabigat pa sila to destroy the church. That's the scenario of the church. But according to man, Isaiah 42, we have a mother's heart. Amen? Hindi natin iiwanan ng sino mong churches. We love the church. You know, the church is laboring for more churches. Amen. The calling for the old churches across the globe is to plant church 15 minutes walking distance across the globe. But the devil is putting the hindrance Amen. to abandon church and to destroy the church, not to fulfill his calling. Mm -hmm. If you are really in into a um, intercessory, mm -hmm. you can sense that mm -hmm. spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. To build a church, to produce a church, is like you are laboring in pain. But when you produce, when the church come out, di ba? Sarap na makita natin ang Guilford. Sino ba natutuwa? And South London, we need another four churches. Horley, Crystal Palace, and Sorbiton, and especially Stockton Tees and Yorkshire. We are now in laboring. We are in laboring. I believe maraming mga nanay sa iglesia nito na hindi iwan ang church nito. 
to produce more judges. Amen? At Kuya, please. And what is the foundation of the Word of God? There are two symbols. Isaiah 42, verse 6. Meron pa ba akong time? Yes, I have nine minutes. To bless the church, to bless all the men, the protection for this kind of demonic force. Especially, yung nag-iisip po kayo na mag-asawa, this is my advice. Listen very carefully to your Lord. Maski ang karanasan ay hampas mo pa. Maski mahirap yan. Huwag niyo silang pag sinabi ng Lord ay nang asawahin mo kasi may takot yan, payayamanin nila. That's my experience, no? Ate Alice busted me three times. Kasi pastor ako eh. Di ba? Anong papakain ko sa kanya? She refused three times. Kasi pastor eh. Pero niligo sa akin niya, Ate Alice niya. Lakas naman ang loob niya ni Brother Aldrin. Niligaw na ako, nurse. Yes, yeah, true, di ba? It's true. Ang, ang, ang pundasyon ng pagiging mag-asawa is God. Amen? Ang Diyos. Anyway, pag sinabi ng Lord na yan ang mga pangasawa, basit din mo man yan, darating yan. Even, even the church. Marami mang kumalaban sa church. Even you destroy the church. You cannot destroy the church. Because God is the one who hold the church. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. Number one, tinawag po tayo sa tunay na holiness. As your dad, lahat ng mga mali, hindi natin papayagan yan. Mahirap mga na. Diba, Ate Karen? Do you feel it? <laughs> diba? Ang hirap. Ang hirap mag-produce ng church. I remember the latest, no? I just listened to the Lord. Nagpipray lang kami ni Lati Alice. We just start three. Sabi ng Lord, pray for Nanay Tess. Kasi darating na siya. Can you imagine 90% of this church, Nanay Tess is the one who invited. Malak pa ka na natin. <laughs> yeah, that's the foundation of the church. As long as you're doing the right thing, the Lord will stay with you. Amen? Lagi nandiyan ang Diyos. Hawakan ka. I will take hold of your hand. Amen? Yung church, ganyan po yan. Iniiwan siya parang, di ba? Parang normal lang na tatlo na yung asawa ng babae, di ba? Parang John chapter 4, di ba? Lima na, hindi pa rin siya nakakuha ng perfect guy. Di ba? Kaya alam niyo po, according to John Comer, the thing of this world is not just, it not helps the inspiration Yung bobulahin ka lang ng mga lalaki, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work. Amen? Pag nagpabola ka, pinito ka. Uh, diba? Tapos, ha? You need to listen. Even the church, we need to listen to the voice of God. To produce more churches in this world, we need to do the righteousness. We need to be the lights of this world. Amen? Amen? Sige po, number one, check it. Balik po natin yan. Amen. Meron pa ba? Ready na po ba ang ating pong mga nanay gift? Ati, ano? You know? Sige, balik lang po natin daw. No? Ready na raw. Sige po. Isaiah 42, verse 6. Nabibless po ba tayo? Na-expose ba natin? We are, alam niyo po, alam mo, tuwan-tuwa po ako eh. Because I believe the fight is real. Ang sarap nakita mo ang enemy. Di ba? Kaysa hindi mo kita. Na- the devil, they don't want to produce more churches. At kung ikaw, naiintindihan mo ito, please, sumunod ka sa kasama mo. As a symbol of the life of this church. Don't be deceived. Amen? I will keep you and make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles. Amen? As a church, I beg you, as a symbol of a mother, tayo po'y ilaw ng community. We need to destroy, we need to hand on hands. This dilemma, this is crisis, is not just only in the United Kingdom, but across the globe. Because we believe God have a great command to harvest 
many souls before he come. Amen. Alam ng tibon niya yan. Kaya don't be easy. Sabi dyan, I the Lord have called you in righteousness. Have called you in righteousness and hold your hands. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people. As a light to the Gentiles. Pwede po ba natin tawagin ang mga nanay? Amen. Una sa lahat, ipapanalangin po natin, napakalaki ng trabaho po ng South London. As a mom, isa pa lang po na po-produce natin. Meron pa po tayong holy. Amen. Huwag natin i-abort. Amen. Amen. Hindi tayo papayag na ang isare ay hindi makapag-produce ng churches. Hindi tayo papayag na ang Crystal Palace. Can you imagine, we are planning to pray Crystal Palace last, last Friday. It's, I don't know, but twice we are hindered. We are hindered twice. Now because we want to pray Crystal Palace, because that's a farm. Meron pong farm sa Crystal Palace. Eh. It's a nice to pray all uh, uh, from Lewisham, Greenwich. It's good to pray. It's like a box hill. You've been in a box hill. You can see all sorry. You know the sight in Box Hill? You heard that you can see that the devil's eye, the devil's deck. Have you heard that? You have to do you read that? The, 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 the top view. You can see there is the devil's deck. You need to rebuke that. No? And we are planning to pray for for the East uh, South London. And he hindered us. You remember Kuya Gilbert? I texted you. He was hindered twice. Because the devil knows the church is producing more churches for the great, great harvest. Amen? That don't be the same. We need to pray. We need to protect the church. We need to claim. And we need to pray. We will destroy the divorce, abandonment. Sino po naniniwala? na kailanman, parang imposible. Wala nang iiwan ng pamilya ng Diyos. But the key is righteousness. Amen. Amen? Sige po, tawagin po natin ang mga ma'am sa, sige po, uh, mga ano natin, acknowledge po natin ang ating pong mga ma'am Ready po ba kayo? May we call on the, all the mothers please. here in front, please. Para sa inyo po ito. Amen. And uh, we will declare blessing. Sige po, huwag mahiya ang mga nanay. Sa inyo po ito. Hindi po kayo halatang nanay. Hindi po kayo halatang. You still look young. So oh, sige po, still... mga nanay. Halika po dito. Dito po sa harap. Mga mami, mga ulirang nanay natin ng South London, sige po, hindi po kayo magkagalit, magbati po kayo doon sa gitna. <laughs> Dito po pwede, yan, sige po, magtabi-tabi po tayo, ayan, sige po, ayan, sino pa po ang mga nanay dyan? Wala pang picture, hindi ka po magkagalit. Aditin, magkakaroon ka ng anak ko, Aditin. Thank you. 
Sige po, papanalangin naman ang atin ang church. Sige po, tayo po ito tayo. Habang po, balik po. We need to pray our bago tayo mag victory. Uh, papanalangin po natin ang South London. We are now in a new Faladay. Sige po, tayo po ito tayo. Papanalangin natin ang makapag-produce. Protection of po ang church na ito. At makita natin, mag-discern po natin ang ginagawa po ng enemy in our time. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord, for our man. And thank you, Lord, for this church. I declare, O God, that you divine protection sa iglesia nito at makapag-produce kami, Panginoon ng Diyos, ng marami pang mga churches. Lord, bigyan mo kami na may mga mother's heart na kailanman hindi iiwan ang church na ito, Panginoon. Panatiling Panginoon ng Tiyo, even in labor and pain, magsasama-sama kami, Panginoon. Sa napakagandang calling mo, Panginoon, in this church. One day, Lord, we can see another church in Holland, in Israel, another church in Crystal Palace, and another church in Sunita, and especially in Yorkshire. Lord, give us a mothering heart. Lord, I pray. And Lord, we believe you will bless this year's tremendous Thank you, Lord. We bring back to you all the glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
present offering. I just watched the video. I've been there. I got to the point that I 
can't give my tithes because I have needs. Nah, I have to needs in my family. But um, I'm so blessed because I obey God. I obey with my faith that God, when I give this to you, I know you will you will do miracle things. But God is you know God is good. He proved to me during my needs, my problem that um, God opened the heaven gates that. Hindi ako po nakukulang those time. Yung those time po when I'm in this. So, based on the word of God today po, we have to challenge our faith this time now. We obey God out of our comfort zone. Thank you. Let us all pray. Lord, we thank you for your word today. Indeed, Lord, it is a challenge. This is a challenge to each of us. In difficult time po, um, many of us face difficult financial problems. But we know, Lord, when we obey you, when we obey your word, Lord, your, your word, Lord, it is, it's always come with promise, Lord, that um, it always come with blessing. But as your children, Lord, we not focus on your blessing, Lord. We only focus to obey your word, Lord. Because you're all, you're it is your nature to bless us. Even we don't obey you, Lord, you still bless us, Lord. What's more when we obey you, Lord, Lord? Lord, we know, Lord, we always expect that greater things happen in our life, oh Lord, in surround us, oh Lord, when we obey. We thank you, may you use, may you use this Tyson offering, Lord, to expand your kingdom in South London, oh Lord, and in Surrey. We thank you, we bless your name, in Jesus' mighty name. Invite as much as you can. Amen, Po. And um, the next one is the last Friday of the month is our seven last words. So let us support Po that is in KAA from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. for all, all of us, Po. Amen. And then the next one we're praying is the delegates of Batch 20 for Guildford. Amen. So let us continue to pray for them, Po. And then um, who will be next? There is a question there. So we have batch 21 coming po sa June 2024. So all life group leaders po, please encourage our life group members to um, register po. And then a call to excellent service is our day for our anniversary. back to work po and pag uwi ng bahay we carry that po so excited po ba kayo sa ating anniversary amen praise God and here is our local activities from don't watch to prayer meeting our Sunday service our evangelism under at the grace leadership po and holy life group um, we don't have this coming Saturday po because of youth empowerment but we will continue the following week after po, the fourth night. Amen po. And then next is the district activities. We have high five, we have midweek service po, and prayer line. And um, every last Wednesday of the month po is our prayer empowerment. You are all invited if you are intercessor po. Amen. Sige po, let us all arise. As we close, let us all